Christian Center. And I'm like, boy, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What a fire this interview is going to be. Easy. So I've been beating, you know, the album Toxicity. If you don't have it, it is online on all the guitar stores. So you can go and purchase. African, we're good? Yeah, man. Let's roll now. Let's roll now. Easy. Let's roll him now. You understand me? Let's bring the big man uh, forward and let the people them see him, man. Easy. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is King Lagazi. Everything good and everything is all right in the place. Let's cross over to Kingston, Jamaica and talk to Bill Gill. You understand me? Yeah, man. Everything good in the place. Easy. Wagwan, 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 Wagwan. Bill Gill, you there? You there? Easy. You good? You can hear me? Yeah, you are hear me now? Yeah, man. Me, I hear you good. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. My, my microphone is new. All right, all right, all right. Yo, big up my life, Biggie. You understand me? Biggie say, yo, like I me, I go sort you out tonight. You understand me? So we we live on the Facebook page on the Legacy Sound International page. So all those who are not familiar with Bill Gill, you can step on the page. You understand me? And see where I go on because everything nice and everything is all right in your place. My name is King Legacy. You don't know. So we're talking to Bill Gill all the way from his home in Jamaica. I don't want to jump to the gun. You understand me? But his real name is Mr. Roy Thompson. You understand me? And trust me. From the research we have done, we realize that even though he was existing and putting in the works, not until the year 2000 when he met Elephant Man, that was when things began to move for, you know, Bill Gill. He started writing for Elephant Man and all that. Now we'll go into that and ask him the main reason why, you know, things were not going all right with him and Elephant Man had to step in before things clicked for, you know, Bill Gill. Now in 2014, boom! Anointed album was released. Easy. Now, fast forward in 2017, we um we had a Be Yourself album. Easy. 2019 now was Picture Perfect. Easy. And then through his anointed entertainment, he decided to ease off and release some EPs and all that. You understand me? So, boom, now EPs release. Easy. And then he took some time. And now, 2021, we have toxicity. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to Jamaica and talk to Bill Gill. Bill Gill, how are you doing? Madea, give thanks. <laughs> I love the introduction. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Don't lie. Don't let me up on a big stage in a Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ghana love you. Tell you no like Ghana. Ghana is a country we love you. Yeah. Mm hmm I know that. I know, trust me, I know that. I know, I know that. I, I get the love and I feel it. And and I know that it's genuine. You know, because as you say, when you see a lot of people link you and I say, yo, this interview is going to be fire because you is on there. We get, this, we get a lot of links to Facebook, Instagram. A lot of people reach out to me too. And, you know, they're looking forward and and they have a lot of respect for you as well. And I love that. You know, them say, yo, King Lagazi, man, he's the man. <laughs> you know? So, you know, yeah, I know man. that people really, people love, love the music. People love what I'm doing. People love what I represent, you know. So, I have to give thanks for that. Definitely. And now, if you check on the Facebook page, we have 164 people them on the live right now. You understand me? Yeah, man. So, if you want any question, please, 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 make sure you step in with your question. Yeah, man. You know, anything you want to ask, you, you know, Bill Gill, trust me, feel free and just go so boom and type it and let us have it. Now, Bill Gill, tell us, if we talk about Mr. Roy Thompson, a.k.a. Bugio, who exactly are you? Um, laid back. Um, 
inspirational. Um, a lot of people say he's a prophet, but you know, <laughs> it's up to the people to say that. Um, um, musical. Um, I mean, I could, I can't tell a million things when I think about myself, but then it still boils down to the people. Mm -hmm. Um, based on what I present, based on and what them get from me, mm -hmm. whether it's personally, it's on a record, it's on a stage show, it's in an interview. Um, where would you put Bugle? You understand? Definitely. So it's a question, that question that you asked me is a question that, that I would actually do a own, do my own research on myself. You know, I ask people, what do you think about Bugle? How do you see Bugle? You know, what kind of person you think Bugle is? You know, so... Yeah, because nobody not really I get up and say nothing bad about themselves. Everybody thinks of them nice, and <laughs> you understand. <laughs> but, you know, my musical, my laid back, my humble. You notice me there in my house, me there in my studio, my, my home studio. Um, this is just me. <laughs> me say it, me say it. All right. So, so, so now, how, how did it start for you? I, I know when, when you step into Jamaica, sound system play a very key role in a lot of artists career how, how did it start for you was the sound system how was it like um i start out in a primary school i start from about between 10 and 12 you know so um not that time being a little you i have nothing to do with sound system and anything there mm -hmm. but a sound system did i go on time mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. a sound system did i go on at the time but you know, I, I I wasn't too involved because my little boy I go to school. Mm -hmm. So I never too involved in the sound system. So me just start out in my classroom and beat the desk. And I beat my chest because this is our thing. This is mm -hmm. a ghetto youth thing where you beat your chest and you DJ to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was just a whole vibe. This is just our thing how it started. So me in the classroom and we are beat the desk and my brethren and I beat the desk and we are do that for the whole day and we are rhyme. Mm -hmm. And enough of the thing that we are rhyme with make no sense. But we still are rhyme and we are all revised and we are get forward and are we that. So that's how me start now with 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 teacher he actually I shift me up all about in the classroom because guess what? I me had the biggest distraction. You know, <laughs> until school concert I keep now. And 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 my teacher said to me, um, I think I think her name was Mrs. Clark, said to me, um, now you have an opportunity to prove yourself for a school concert I keep. So go up on the stage, go sing because you're always in the class I sing and I disturb my classroom. So me ready as a little youth, me ready. So I say, yeah, me ready. So <laughs> she put my name on a list of profile. And I go up there and sing. I want to sing the whole school mass up. Everybody has a forward. I would a little boy I bad and that alone just give me a name in my community. So because remember when school concert are keeping you know, up, everybody parents come, mother and father, everybody. So school full with your parents, them and your big brother, them and everybody there. So even your mother and father surprised because they don't know say so you have that talent. Yeah. You know me I say? So I take it outside of the school now to the community, you know, the youth club and them thing. Them, them everybody start embrace me in the community and have me as, you know, the little youth in the community who is the, the entertainer. And, and that actually make me want to do more, make me start right more because me want to have a new lyrics every day. You know, everything I keep, me have a new lyrics. Everything we keep, me have a new lyrics because me write song every day. And that's how me really get started still. All right. So, so it means that you started from the primary school in the classroom, disturbing and all that. 14 minutes going into the I night here on Hits. 103.9 FM, your number one authoritative entertainment radio station in Ghana without a doubt. Easy. And we are here reasoning with Bugil all the way from his home studio in Jamaica. And trust me, you heard what, you know, he is telling us in terms of how he began and all that. We give thanks and praise. So, fast forwarding now. So, it means that you didn't really start, even though sound system were around, you didn't start with sound system, but it was rather in the classroom, right? Yeah, definitely. 
All right. So, so how come now um, you love the plate and, and, and all that? So, um, to my first musical influence was Luton and Sitchi and Papa, sir. Mm -hmm. Um, no, them man, they used to clash like every minute. Papa San and Stitchy are clash, and these are big artists, big international artists. You know, the man, they're full of lyrics, and I mean, love it. Me, me love it, like me just love the world clash thing, me just love the vibe. It just sound good. Me also in my community, I clash with other little artists from community to community. We just a walk and I clash with anybody where we see where they are artists. I just a clash that. From a man say my artists, I clash where clash because that's how we know it as a little you. You understand me? I say so. Being influenced by two of the greatest, which is Luton and Stitchy and Papa Stan. Make me even get for love sound class. Me love your dub plate. And then Bounty Killer. Bounty Killer. When me used to hear Bounty Killer, I said, people dead. I like my beliefs that somebody dead for truth. Just to how it profound. <laughs> just to how him say it. You understand? You're yeah. convinced. And, and it give you a vibe. It give you the adrenaline that make you want to hear after people dead, what him going to say now. Mm -hmm. You understand me? I say, yeah. <laughs> so the whole of that is just a vibe. So because me love sound clash, you know. I me yeah. love the dub plate. Like I love singing dub plate. See. You know, I'm a joy to sing a dub plate and wake up the next morning and hear some my dub killer song. Oh, that yes, is sir. a joy to me. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Yo, so... That part of where you say, when Bounty Killer say people dead, and you go back and think, say, all right, from the man say people dead, what will you go happen next? As, as you hear those things, what exactly go through your mind as an artist? We love that plate and all that. I would want to, to, to have this kind of demanding character one day mm -hmm. where when my talk people pay close attention mm -hmm. i that is what i want that is what i get from it you know whether or not me i go say people dead mm -hmm. meanwhile to all oh, when this brother attacking grab my attention fully me would i want one day when me talk me can actually grab people attention fully you know, and I've right. been working on that because my wa, when I talk, it makes sense. Me no wa, me no want say people dead for sure. Mm -hmm. You understand? All right. Me, but me want say things like the world is in a mess because all them concerned about is them pay. And when me say that, people listen and say, "Yo, that is truth." You know, that am I. That that that's how I want to be remembered as an artist. All right. The artist. Who, every time me me mouth. Is something positive where you have to pay attention to. This, um, what you just said in terms of talking to grab people's attention, kind of throw this kind of question straight to my mind. Wh what exactly inform your lyrics? Because, Bill Gill, to tell you the gospel fact, um, if you are dunce, you can't understand Bill Gill. You understand me? You have to be intelligent. You have to think twice. You have to listen to Bill Gill's music over and over and over again for you to understand the similes and the metaphors and all that in the song. So, Bill Gill, what exactly inform your lyrics? My lyrics, my, my music influenced by day-to-day -day life. You know, okay, I don't have the reason you're right. Now, and yesterday, something will just grab my attention and it linger in my head until I write a song around it. You know, that are my music. Everything will happen. Um, so even the negative will happen, me take it and turn it into a positive. You know, but where me and music is concerned, I'm going to put myself in a box where, okay, this is all me I got to talk about and this is the only way me I got to talk about it. Me and the artists, they were. You got to hear me upon different rhythm. You got to hear me upon rhythm who the greatest them depend. And you got to hear me on rhythm who the underdogs them depend. Because me I deal with music. And me I try my best to reach to the people them as much as me can reach to them. So 
in order for you to reach to anybody where you try to reach to. Most of the time, you have to go to them. Don't wait on them to come to you. You know, so if you want to reach to the younger generation of music, musicians, the younger fans, fan base, then I have to go to them. And the best way to go to them is by singing on the rhythm what them are listening with for them artists they on it. You understand what I mm -hmm. say? So, me is, me is just a musical bridging thing. Like, music are just me. Music, music are me. Wow. Wow. Listen, <laughs> I've, I've got countless of messages right now, and trust me. <laughs> my, yeah, yeah. Countless of messages, man. You know, um, coming from Kemetic Melanin, he said, a true prophet, you really... Um, you really is. Your music inspired me, teaches me, and make me happy. Keep enlightening the world with music. You understand me? If, if thanks. Yeah, if man. Thanks. And then... Yeah, I'm not going to stop enlightening the world with my music. Def um, I, I don't care who wants to take it today. Mm -hmm. uh, who don't want to take it today, I should say. But I'm not going to stop presenting it to you until you actually start paying some attention to what I'm saying. Because I don't necessarily have to tell people what they want to hear, you know. But I have to tell people what they're supposed to hear, which is the truth. Because yeah. the truth sometimes can be more dangerous than even a lie. Because the truth hurts even worse than a lie, you know. Because enough people don't like hear the truth. You understand? Enough people rather you lie to them than actually tell them the truth. It's just like you're in a relationship. And with your wife or your girlfriend, your fian your fiance, whoever. And and you cheat on her. And she tell you, say, just tell her the truth. Get all she wants is the truth. Really and truly, the truth what she wants is not necessarily the truth of you cheating on her. Because she cannot angle that. Just like we as men, we can't angle that neither. So I just I use that as an example for show you how dangerous the truth can be. You know, so a lot of people rather just tell a life, you know, go through the whole episode where the truth I go bring. Because when you look on her and say, no, I didn't cheat on you, it probably done right there. So well, if you did say, yes, I cheat, then you know, say, our world where this just start. <laughs> so a lot of people that just rather say, I never cheat for just, you know, get it over with and done. So I'm saying all of that to say, the truth, most of the time, can the result from the truth can be even deadlier than the result from the lie. Ah, right. So uh, this one is coming from Elombini. Elombini is is a topmost um, blogger in Ghana when it comes to reggae dancehall. He said, "My question will come later. For now, I just want to be anointed with perfect picture on my screen to wipe out all toxicity." With clean conversations coming from a Lombini. What a rhyme. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. be perfect picture to wipe out our toxicity. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I, I tell you, that. yo. <laughs> Hello, yo, yo, a Lombini, big up yourself, man. So if you have any question, you can really type it in and trust me. Um, I'll read it. Edward Akun Boatin says, listening to the cleanest bobo. You understand me? You know, um, <laughs> Jabode, Jabode is all, all the way in, um, I think, Asamankese. And Jabode is one person. Immediately, he saw the, the flyer on my status. He, he was like, yo, Lagazi, this interview, I will never miss it. Bill Gill is my man. And I'll make sure I'll listen to it. And he's on a live. You understand me? Yeah, man. So we give thanks, Jabode. Give thanks. Big up. If, if you have any question, please type it in and let me just read it over here. Um, he, um, uh, Hita Vergo says, CEO of Hit Melody Records label, saying a big up from South Florida. All right, we give thanks and praise. We give thanks and praise. I'm going to say the corner, say, Big you I'm favorite artist. All right. The whole world is locked in right now. Um, Jeffrey Raman Griffith says, Yard settings, big up Bill Gill. Please ask him about um ask him about um what is going what what is going on with feeding the poor in Jamaica. I just star. All right, all right. 
So Bugle is listening. Everything good and everything is all right. Loveland said them ranking says, how unique is his music? Um, what I can tell you about Bugle's music is you have to be intelligent to understand whatever the man is saying. You understand? Because if you are don't, trust me, you will not understand what he is saying. And specifically, I'm going to play this song, My Life, for you to listen. This song here, I have to, I have to play it several times to be able to to catch it, you know, you know, you know, up and down, and all that. Build you, stick up in, and let me play this one here. Easy. From the album Toxicity, my life. Life important. Try don't lose it. Sweet music. And let me say my life this Oh yeah yeah my life this Truth is me I put it Oh yeah yeah my life this uh. Don't tell me about hard life but no about Easy. that Me never go in a mansion me go in a shop With dirt floor, zinc or stop Rainfall bucket set water catch And wear me out shoes like in you with all a shirt for match Look how mama finger blister, close to wash Happiness never the near me, so I search for that Men didn't know me younger rich, so me yeah, rise with that Worry about rich life You must see man in a witch line Run it, run it, run it, run it Don't tell me about life, me know about that Me never go in a mansion, me go in a shop With dirt floor, zinc or stop Rainfall bucket set water catch And wear me out shoes like in you with all a shirt for match Look how mama finger blister, close to wash Happiness never the near me, so me search for that Me didn't know me younger rich, so me rise yeah, with that Worry about rich life You must be mad in a witch line Nah, no, you know since the prince and we run left Royalty, I try switch life me say me happy with this life I swear me no care who this life No Cause I know for them last time We are with no no them a rich life No You know see a studio me buy with my money Me no buy gun Easy, easy Easy in the place, easy in the place Easy Alambini says after the interview After the interview Ghana needs to watch out for um out for my role out pr on him please ask him um uh, why the name bill gill so bill gill um ask me what ask him why the name bill gill or oh, why the name bill yeah oh well i get the name bill from friends you know who Thinks I love music so much, I should actually have the name of a musical instrument. Mm -hmm. So when them said you go like me, I say, this makes sense. You know, <laughs> this, this really <laughs> makes sense because a bugle is actually a musical instrument, of course, and it makes sense. It actually sounds like the name of a person. You know, like if you did say drum or guitar or keyboard or uh, you know, it it only sound so connected, like when you say bugle so that's how me get the name i just my brethren them feel like now you tell of music too much you know if you name him off an instrument look we call him bugle okay bugle done all right so um edward akubwatin aka jabba day all the way from asamankasi he said he he wants to know this he said what is unique about his music um what is unique about his music is that his lyrics are clean and razor sharp it can slay you into stress you need an open mind to relate to his music you understand me yeah man you need an open mind to relate to my music that's what he says right yes <laughs> yeah i mean yeah man we give thanks to the blessings we give thanks to, for you know enough love enough respect i really appreciate um my fans a million percent and i'm glad for know that people really have pay attention to what i say because 
when me there in other little space or me there, I may create. I don't know how far it's going to reach. I don't know how much people are going to really pay attention. But we still do it. And I do it with no doubt neither. You know, I do it and know. So I send this out to the world. I send this across the universe um, with the intention say, people need to hear this. You know, and, and you might not listen to it today or tomorrow, but they are going to listen to it the next day or the, or the following day. That's that's how, that's my music. My music is that thing where I go play in your head. And you are going to listen to it over and over because it's going to make sense to you eventually. You understand? Yeah. Because my music is not the music where you just listen to it today and then you're gone. No. My music are the music when you're listening today, you want to hear it tomorrow and the day after. Definitely. So when you listen to music like that, that music that eventually grow with you. Because when me hear 14 year old youth I sing a song like Exercise, line for line, that I tell me a lot. Because Exercise is 14 year old. You understand? Mm -hmm. So when this song sing, either the 14 year old just born, or I'm not born yet. So if you see you come and sing a song where that song and you is the same age group. It tell me, say, my music really grow with, ge with the generation we are forward. Okay. You know? So me focus on delivering good message. That's me who I deliver. But when saying so, me is not the artist who put myself in our box because now I go give different kind of energy regardless of what. You know? It's, you, you have to present yourself or you want people for buy you, you know? Definitely. You understand? And the message is what I want people to take, but in the midst of that, I try my best to entertain while me educate. And okay. that's why I'm sing song like, you know, the Rasta party, yeah, everything turn up load, everybody will say we are so we make them. You understand what I say? So I still I, I, I bring a different kind of energy to you in the midst of me, I give you my message. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got you. I got you. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's 31 minutes going into the R9 here on Hit 103.9. Everything good in the place. And we're we, we reasoning with Bill Gill all the way from his home in Jamaica. Alambini stepped in with this message. He said, Lagazi, if you don't play prenup um, on the show today, I will get cross like bone tequila. My life is <laughs> <laughs> that my life. Song you can't um song you can best understand if if you follow you know um the story of um Prince Harry Prince Harry um his mother Princess Diana and until a deep meditation follow you can't fully understand that song. All right. So um, I, I think people are asking about, you know, the album, the album and all that. Let's step into the album now and, 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 and you know, reason about it. Toxicity. Why the album title Toxicity, Bill Gill? Because how are going on in the world currently. You know, I've never seen the world as toxic as it is now. Never see the world as toxic as it is now. Like the world just really toxic. Every sector, you look on politics, you look on music, you look um, in the church, you look in the, the, the police force, everywhere you look, in the ghetto, your neighborhood, everywhere you look, it's just everybody toxic. The music industry, like the world just toxic right now. The TV is probably one of the most toxic places. You know, you might say, so it's in your living room, the toxicity is right there with us. You know, sometimes you don't even realize how toxic even the TV is, the news where you watch them, them present to you what they want you to believe on a daily basis. And them show that over and over and over and over until you start live it, you start believe it. You understand what I say? So the, 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 the world toxic, the world is in a mess right now because of all of the negative energy we are going in the world. Because everybody toxic. You know, so even when even the, the title song for the album, you yeah. know, the world is in a mess because all them concerned about is them pay. Yeah. So them lead you astray instead of leading you the right way. Yeah. All me see is Kekla cuss, but Santa cuss clear. Nobody now will no meds again or pray and pray. Apparently, I be act as the bomb. Social media take over, so we're just living for the cloud. Or you're for voting worse than who you are vote out. Sad to say, but I don't trust the words that come from their mouth. They're giving a lot of jokes, but me still not laugh. 
I would have run well a long time if Jamaica wasn't my art. One of the things that I can't understand is the wharf. Everything else gets stopped, but every gun come off. What I notice, every man I preach, but nobody in our practice. Them used to be solid, but now them recycle like plastic. A regular man asks this, why everybody toxic is a big show I keep because all I see is actors and actresses. Kwame. What you used to identify a fool is the mind. Mm -hmm. Look like everyone enrolled in the school for the blind. Yeah. This got to be revelation. and just look at the time. Who has said Jamaica peaceful? Look at the crime. You know, it me, me like them thing your from is just thing where me and my brethren would have sit down and we are reason and we are say, look what I go on in the world. You know, say everybody toxic. You know, but what cause the toxicity is this. You understand? It's a reasoning, really. It's mm -hmm. just a reasoning, and it depends on a record so people can actually share the reasoning and understand the reasoning. But it's a serious reasoning. It's facts. Yeah, man. So, Kwame Ampoma Edua J says, Lagazi, in the song Toxicity, he made mention of actors and actresses. Who exactly was he referring to? In the song Toxicity? Yeah. It is... Is politician, is artist, is police and soldier, is is everybody become actors and actresses because people are now living for social media. People present a life for them now live. You understand? Everybody just a present. It's about the, the artist. Them it, nowadays is about rhyme and 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 um. Who can say the wickedest thing the wickedest way? Instead of who can present the message in a way where the people them can take it and use it for better themselves. You understand what I say? Yeah. Is is that so when we say actor and actress, we talk about every sector of the society, not just one place. Looking at the church, look what I go on in the church. Right, I say in a Jamaica, um, pastor sacrifice church member. That is toxic. Mm -hmm. You know what I say? So mm -hmm. all this time, all them are do a act and them are going like them is man of God and them is man of this. There is them a man of devil. So all them are do them a act. You know, them just a present a thing where them want you to believe. But really and truly, what them a preach, them now practice it. Because them toxic. You're right. 100%. 100%. Hey, Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking to Bill Gill from his home in Jamaica. All right, so let's look at the album now. The featuring, how many artists on the album? Uh, I think it should be about seven. Um, seven. I said go. Um, no man, I'm more than seven. Cause my have, my have um Tony Gola, Adina Myri is the intro that, but that is like a whole concert within itself, <laughs> as you know. Mm -hmm. Um, then my have um Bounty Killer and Julian Marley and and one track. My have Kabaka and Jesse Royal and another track. My have um Beanie Man. I have um, Nation Bass, I have Jamil, I have two Spanish artists, which is Darius and, and um, Karims. And then um, I mentioned Dean, man, I think. And then at the end of the song, now I have two of my Bobo Bridge in them because I don't know. You have to have Rasta and other thing. You okay, came in, I got to do nothing without the king, you know. And from me, I got to do things with the king, then the Rasta, them have to be involved. Whether it's a Rasta where you know or a Rasta where you don't know. But my Bobo Bridge in them have to be involved, some way or another. All right. Nice. So, um, King Apeja says, um, Godfather, please ask him when is he bringing his new album uh, out? The album is out already, please. The album came out on the 21st of October. If you are if you are a good listener of the show, we had the album before even a release. So, we were kind of hammering on it almost every week up until now so the album is out already and he said please ask him which Ghanaian artist um will he feature on the album it's so unfortunate that there is no Ghanaian artist on the album so question answered <laughs> yeah man so but so, that's another making though that's another making all right so right now me want come up me want come a, a Ghana for a moment you know me not just want come for a one show and leave you know me have to come spend at least a month a Ghana you know so me know so me forward I will if I work I go go on so my next album hopefully yeah we're gonna have the Africans them not just um Ghana but Kenyan all about in Africa we want I I would really love to do an album with 
all Af- with just only African artists on there. Okay. All right. All right. We give thanks and praise to the Almighty. Everything good and everything is all right in the place. So the album now um is out. But where and where if if somebody wants the album, where can they get it and all that? The album is on every major platform that sells music. Um Amazon, Apple Music, um Spotify, you name it, they're everywhere. Um so and everybody has smartphones. You know, so not having the album is not an excuse because it's because it is very accessible to everybody at this point. So even if you're not purchase it, you can still go and stream it. You know, you can still go and listen it. Just get a, a, a account sign up over Spotify and go stream the album and listen to what I go on. All right. Bill Gill. Easy. Because of our time and the cutting coming from, um, I think, Zoom, um, we would have to wrap it up over here. But before I, I leave you finally, your word of advice, you know, to your fans in Ghana. And, and also, if somebody wants to follow you on social media, your handles. So, um, my advice is not because the world is toxic and not because... Most of the people I mean, are surrounding is toxic, mean that you have to be toxic. Because guess what going on? You need even one some seeing person, you know, for guide the unseen person through the right part of life. And don't be confused and uh oh yo 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 Yo, Lord God, ja. 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 No one in love situation after marriage and all the wrong. No one more than four thousand station <laughs> separation. Uh huh. Certain things in a life can never replace Me see too much of that one, so many fake Man losing case and losing place One of the reasons I never do nothing in need Me know people were all it fears And as them get married everything change As the ceremony done everything rearranged Perfect couple start that strain that's why Holy much the money me not join Unless the green up sign There's now nothing to lose me not lose mine so me I make sure the prenup sign Me not give everything, me not so kind So me I make sure the prenup sign